Well, at this time of the year, the best place to go is down south. It's an easy place to get to, and whenever I get the opportunity, uh, I head down there. This time, I'm going with my friend Beth, and we're going to go down and look at a few places, some you might recognize. We stopped off at Bustleton, and right on the beach is a beautiful cafe where, look at this beautiful bay right next to the really long jetty. Eventually we met, uh, got to our first stop at Hamlin Bay, which is way down the south of the Cape uh, section, and we're going to stay at the Hamlin Bay Caravan Park. Well, you're never going to guess where I am again. That's right, I've headed down south, my most favorite place to be. Uh, this time, uh, Beth had a week's holiday, so because I'm a relief teacher, I might as well make the most of it, take a week off. So we've come down here, and we're at the Hamlin Bay Caravan Park to start with, uh, where the stingrays are. So, have a look around at the camp. So this is our campsite. Got a tent set up here, a tent set up there. That's supposed to be my tent, but Beth is in there and she might steal it from me, which means I get the nice big tent, which is okay by me. I have plenty of room in there. And then we got the car and the kitchen here. We've now got this fridge set up, which is pretty cool. I got a drawer system here. All the emergency stuff in there. I've got a table. Whoops. Comes out here. So there's a table. I can do all my cutting and stuff on. And then got a fridge on a fridge slide. So there's the fridge. And there. I got my ginger beer in there. Most Aussies would have beer. I got my ginger beer. So that's pretty cool. Everything else in the back there. And that slides back. And I've got power going to there. So we'll uh, film this trip for you. We're going to go down and have a look at the stingrays now, which you're probably sick of seeing. but. We're going to go look at them again. It's a bit, about 10 degrees cooler here than in Perth, so I hope it's not too cold to go swimming. It was like 36 in Bustleton, which is only an hour and a half away, and now it's 24. Quite amazing the difference in temperature as you get down to south and you start turning the corner and you get those roaring 40s coming in. Last time I was here, this place was packed, absolutely packed. I got the last campsite, and now, as you can see, it's pretty empty. Nothing. All right, time to get camp set up. Beth thought the ducks might like a cup of coffee. Fortunately, they weren't that stupid. We then went down to the beach to look at the stingrays. And uh, as long as you stand still, they're not dangerous. And you don't try to pick them up. You can touch them and they do bang into your feet but they're actually uh, pretty used to people. This gentleman is uh, feeding them fish out of his hand. You just hold the fish in your hand and the stingray sucks it out of it. It's meant to be uh, pretty harmless. Of course, he's only got two fingers left. bag bog at home. I froze it, put it in the fridge, and I'm just trying to heat it. And I can't get this on low, it's on too high. It won't stay low. I want to 
burn it. That's what we're going to have for dinner. our first night, Hamlin Bay Caravan Park. Not too bad, except for I found the lights from the bathrooms and around the campsite too bright at night. I wish they used orange lights. But it was pretty comfy. Had a beautiful breakfast of bacon and eggs this morning. So now we're going to go and uh, check out the sites, check out the caves. Maybe all the way up to Yelling Up. Just explore this part of the world. It's a little overcast today, it's a little chilly, which is a bit disappointing because uh, it's a bit cold to go to the beach at the moment, but it might be a good day for going to the caves. So we'll see what happens to the weather later on. All right. Whoa. So this is Boronup Forest. I've taken lots of video of this and you've seen it, but this is one of the most beautiful spots down here. It's near, we're about 20 minutes from Margaret River, the town. And this beautiful little valley here. And usually in the valley is where you get the carry forest, where the water can sit. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's my favorite spot. And I just love coming down here and walking along the trails. But today we're going to actually visit uh, there's a whole cave system along here. This is all limestone on the cape here and there's this place is dotted with caves. If I went through the bush here I'd, I could easily find an opening to a cave but there's a lot of caves that are set up for people to go down so we're going to go a little expensive about 23 bucks each but uh, we're going to go check out some other caves. So this trip will be or well, this video will be a little bit different because I haven't shown you the caves before so I hope you enjoy it. So for Christmas, Beth bought me a small drone to practice with, and I've been dying to use it. And this was my first opportunity on this trip to try it out. So forgive me for some of the shakiness and so forth. I'm still learning how to use it and how to fly it. But it was really cool. and it's about 160 steps or something down this used to be a whole cavern right here and it all collapsed down into this area and now the vegetation has grown back some of these trees are two three four hundred years old but it's opened it up and allowed people to come down about 1930s they started uh, doing tours down here uh, it was discovered by a 16 year old, was it Mary Bustle or someone, whose horse just stopped and wouldn't go any further. She got off, came to the edge of the cave and found this huge opening here. I think she came, where was it? I think she came up there and then 30 years later, they couldn't find it to 30, was it 30 years later? 30 years later, they found it again and explored it. Now it's open for tourists. There's about a 90 kilometer ridge of limestone from the Cape to Cape here and there's hundreds of caves. Only about six or seven are open to the public. 
so we're gonna go take a look pretty cool huh see you on the inside I think there are about 320 steps in total going down into this cave and it seemed like this week we were going to be climbing a lot of steps as you'll soon find out Make a wish because it's very good luck to film those trips. Um, we actually like to say it is good luck though because that water has taken one year to seep through that limestone and reach the roof of the cave. So that is 2020 COVID brain that you're feeling on your own. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not so lucky. Um, when that water seeps through the limestone, it collects quite a few minerals. Um, it also collects a tiny bit of carbon dioxide. You see this little lump on the back of the wishing well? That is a Coke can sitting underneath there left there in the 1950s and because it's so active that water has crystallized over the top so there you go <laughs> behind our little coat can is our little coat of arms you can see the emu and the kangaroo and the king queen on the couch watching them yeah imagination required again One of the highlights of this cave trip, well it's not really a high light, it's a high dark, is that the guide turns all the lights out and you sit there for 20 seconds in the dark. It certainly gives you an appreciation of what it's like if you were down there with just a torch or a flashlight or even candlelight. It would be pretty freaky. Well, only 6,000 more steps to go. It's going to be quite a few steps up there. Well, I was determined to go snorkeling on this trip, and so we stopped at a little town of Yelling Up. We went down to the beach. And there's a beautiful reef here that's protected and uh, even though it was windy and the water a bit chilly once you were in it was okay so i was determined to go in and uh, we both went in did a bit of snorkeling and that's the first time i've been snorkeling for about for, i don't know years and years and years so i was really happy i got to do that and it felt great On the way back, we stopped at the Lavender Cafe and had Devonshire tea, one of my very, very favorites. So that ends our first day. What a beautiful day it's been. The water's, weather's been perfect. And we've seen the caves, sat on the beach, got snorkeling, had afternoon tea, Devonshire teas. Just fabulous. So this is the first day. I can't wait for the rest of the week. And so we say, Good evening as the sun sets slowly into the west.